Hi, my name is Evan, and today I'm going to be talking about my research paper. For my research paper, I decided to focus on effective physical education practices. And through my literature review, I found that three dimensions are very important. Um, meaningfulness, motivation, and inclusion. And these are critical aspects of optimizing students' experiences in physical education today. So beginning with the first dimension, meaningfulness, it's important that teachers provide valuable experiences for their students, of course, and allow them to be active participants uh, in planning games and activities, as well as setting goals for the class collectively and individually. Uh, basically, this helps foster meaningful experiences and is an effective autonomy supportive strategy. Moving on to the second dimension, uh, which is motivation, looking specifically at how to uh, foster intrinsic motivation. Uh, this is of great interest to me because as a sports and physical activity enthusiast myself, uh, this is obviously very interesting and, I'm, was, and I would like to look at how physical education could possibly motivate students to be more physically active outside school. And basically two principles, uh, two of the most prominent theories that were found in the research are achievement goals theory and self-determination theory, which basically both focus on how uh, perceived self-confidence could be a determinant for one's motivation. And when teachers set up a mastery climate as opposed to a performance-oriented climate, uh, students are have the tendency to be much more motivated uh, and, and are much more likely to participate in sport or physical activity uh, as opposed to when teachers set up a performance-oriented environment uh, in the classroom. The third and final dimension of the paper was inclusion and how to specifically involve students who have been diagnosed with an LD, a learning disability. And we see various uh, differentiating instructional strategies, including um, modifying uh, activities or varying equipment used and also setting up peer and buddy systems. Um, teachers' inclusion practices were also greatly affected by their relationships uh, with other team members, especially the parents, and they felt that if they were involved in the IEP meeting, they could better develop instruction for that particular student. Uh, the Health and Physical Education Curriculum document also uh, says that in working with, as they refer to, special needs students, uh, there are three types of accommodations that could be made. Instructional, environmental, uh, and assessment accommodations to better include these learners. So to conclude, uh, through conducting my research and writing this paper, I learned a significant amount about how physical education can be improved and how us as teachers can effectively teach it so students maintain a desire to be uh, physically active as well as enjoying it. A lot of the findings discussed uh, through this research are applicable to not only the physical ed education class, but also to all subjects and all types of classes. Um, thank you very much for listening to my presentation, and I hope to see all of you in the near future. Bye.